Hey everyone, so welcome to this week's episode of Roto's Questions. Seeing how it's Christmas Eve and all, I'm going to be talking about Santa today. And what does Santa have to do with the birth of Jesus? You know, because how did these two traditions all get mixed up into one holiday? It's a pretty good question, and to find that answer, you know, we pretty much got to go back to before Christianity was even invented. You know, so we got to go visit the people of Siberia, which is pretty close to the North Pole. And these people were called the Tungus, Tungusic people, who are indigenous to that area, and just happened to be reindeer herders as well. You know, so there's a mushroom that grows in this area, and, you know, in some other areas of the world, that is just happens to be a red and white mushroom that grows under the evergreen trees. You know, and as I go along on this video, you're going to start to see that there's a lot of similarities with, you know, the story of this mushroom and the Santa story. You know, it's just as I just said, the mushroom's red and white, grows under evergreen trees. You know, what's the main colors of, you know, Christmas and the gifts and where are they placed? You know, red and white under evergreen trees. You know, it's just the beginning of what, you know, may seem like all these crazy coincidences, but I don't believe in coincidences. You know, so this mushroom is called the Amanita muscaria, or also fly agaric. It's known to be toxic to humans, and it also possesses psychedelic properties. You know, so these people would ingest mushroom to have spiritual, mystic experiences. You know, much like a lot of people take mushrooms these days, or ayahuasca, DMT, all those kinds of psychedelics. You know? So it was the... Siberian shamans that would handle the mushrooms, they were the only ones, and they did this for safety and spiritual reasons, you know, because there's a way to get to the hallucinogenic properties without getting the toxic properties, you know, so the, the shaman would gather enough mushrooms for the whole village, and then he would deliver them to the people on the night of the winter solstice, which is just three days before Christmas Eve, you know, and then... Also, coincidentally, you know, this shaman would be dressed in red and white garments, you know, that are similar to what Santa wears now. You know, and often, you know, since Siberia is so cold and they get a lot of snow, you know, up by the North Pole, a lot of times the doors to these houses or yurts would be snowed in and the shaman would have to enter the home through a smoke hole in the roof. You know, does that sound familiar to you? Santa coming in through the chimneys? Could that be where this is coming from? You know, so then the mushrooms, they would need to dry before being ingested because the, the drying process takes away from the toxic effects as well. You know, so what he would do, he would pass out the mushrooms and then people would hang them in their socks next to the fire. You know, could that be where, you know, we get the idea to hang stockings next to the fireplace or wherever? Just throwing it out there, you know, so they would need to be dried overnight and then the next morning, Christmas Day, whatever, people would wake up and eat them and have their experiences, you know. So this is where the, the art of, you know, giving presents on Christmas Eve and then opening them up on Christmas morning is all about. You know, at least, well, that's where it gets its origins from. It's a lot different now, you know, with all the consumerism and stuff. You know, so these people considered the tree that the mushrooms grew under, the world tree. And they considered this tree very sacred, and they also considered the North Star sacred because the rest of the stars would revolve around it, or at least that's what it seems like. You know, so in their legends, the top of the world tree would touch the North Star, you know, and so then once the shaman was on mushrooms, he would climb this tree and enter the realm of the gods. You know, so that is why there's a star at the top of the tree on Christmas trees now. That's where that origin comes from. You know, and so these ancient, ancient people were also astonished at how these mushrooms would grow without any visible seed. They thought it was a miracle, you know, and also was said to be a virgin birth. Another coincidence, right? They also considered in the mornings, you know, the morning dew that was on the evergreen trees, they considered this to be the semen of a deity, which is what, how the mushrooms came to be, you know, started to grow. You know, so this is where 
you know, silver tinsel decorations come, you know, people placing silver tinsel on, you know, the branches of the Christmas tree and whatnot. It's pretty similar to semen. You know? And also, another interesting part about this story is that the reindeer in this part of the world would also eat the mushroom. You know, they're seen to seek out the mushroom and eat it and enjoy the psychedelic effects as well. You know, reindeer were seen to be prancing around when they're feeling the effects of the mushroom. So, you know, it's said that the shaman would eat the mushrooms with the reindeer and that the reindeer would be its guide in the other world. You know, and that the shaman would travel on the back of the reindeer as it's journeying through this other realm, you know, and this is where the prancing and flying reindeer stories come from. You know, so this is also the same mushroom that's used throughout all popular culture today, you know, and like this is the same mushroom from the Mario Brothers, you know, the same mushroom from the Smurfs, and I'm sure there's other ones that I can't think of right now off the top of my head. You know, so like, does any of this sound familiar to you guys? I mean, it's just too much to to me to be a coincidence, you know. So why? So now the question you need to ask is why would anyone want to incorporate this mushroom story into our modern holidays of Jesus and Christmas and whatnot? You know, and what I believe is because there's people out there, you know, that control the world who know the truth about who we really are and where we come from. You know, most if not all cultures and especially religions all have their roots from ancient people using psychedelic plants to access other realms and gain knowledge and wisdom from them. You know, that's where we've evolved from, is from people taking psychedelics. You know, I'm not going to get too much into the history of that, I'll save that for another video, but if you're interested, look it up. You know, ancient psychedelic use. You know, and so this mushroom allows us to access this other realm, dimension, whatever you want, you know, to experience it for ourselves and see what is, I guess, you know, reality, what's on the other side, you know, what there's more to the world than just what we experience in this physical world, you know, so they don't want people, you know, to be out there and experimenting with this and experience this to themselves and find out, you know, the truth, you know, but they also want to be able to do it out in the open without us knowing really, without us really knowing what it's all about and they still want us to direct all our energy to this because this is what they worship as well. You know, so this is where Santa comes in. You know, kids are told this story, you know, billions of people worship Santa and give them all this energy at this time of year. Like, it's all about Santa, Santa, giving gifts and blah, blah, buying all this crap. You know, so as kids are told this story when they're young, and then eventually, you know, we all grow up and find out Santa isn't really real. You know, so it's like you start to believe it's all oh, just a fairy tale. So then obviously when someone like me comes along and says, oh, no, hey, it's about the magic mushrooms and stuff. People won't believe that either because it's all just a fairy tale. So people won't believe that, hey, you know, mushrooms, this mushroom can open you up to other worlds and experiences that will change your life pretty much. You know, so this is what how they have people still celebrate it. you know no one believes it well at least the adults you know the kids believe it but we're still giving our energy to it we're still celebrating it and buying all these presents and they just harvest our energy for their own purposes we've got to get away from the consumerism that has consumed this holiday and get back to the ancient traditions and what the ancient purpose of this holiday was you know and that was to be able to have an experience that will reveal the truth about us and who we really are and our reality you know and what better gift could you receive you know so let me know what you think about the video and you know do some more research on the subject i'm just you know briefly just you know skimming the stories just to get this information out there so let me know what you think you know have safe holidays and yeah there's always if you have any questions you know comment facebook you know email rotosquestions at outlook.com thanks